Hi, I'm back. As the title says, this is more stupidity from the Gamosphere. And <laughs> this week, um, I'm just going to hit five topics and it'll start after the cut. So let's get it started. Um, the first topic we're going to hit, like it says, is... Ubisoft DLC much? Um, this is just uh, Ubisoft D uh, adding uh, paid for DLC for the always online multiplayer game, The Crew. Oh god. Oh Jesus. I... This might be a good business decision, but man, this is gonna screw over the gamers. Not, 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 a, not very smart. Not, not very smart. Ubisoft, not smart. Um, it, you're devalue, you're devaluing a new franchise already in the eyes of gamers. You're gonna nickel and dime them to death, and you're gonna basically make it easier for people who pay to win or get the pre-order with whatever special DLC that's gonna be with it to have an edge over people who just play the game normally. Thanks a lot, Ubisoft. You're breaking gaming one game at a time. <laughs> Uh, the next topic will will be coming up next. Okay then, um, this next bit of news is coming from of all people, um, people who are saying that Phil Spencer is the perfect person to run the Xbox division. Look, listen, um, I hate to break this to you, but. Phil Spencer is a marketing asshole first, marketing executive first, everything else second, okay? Okay, because, I mean, he's been with the Xbox division for quite some time. Xbox division hasn't made money since it was created, okay? So, for 13 years, it hasn't made money. It didn't make money before it was created. It hasn't made money since. So, the fact that he's been there for that long and nothing he's done has really helped that branch, uh, that, that, uh, branch of Microsoft make money and they've been using creative accounting to kind of help balance that out, is it really helping, okay? Not to mention he's been sitting there while the Xbox brand has made train wreck after train wreck after train wreck, buying Rare and running it into the ground, releasing the Xbox 360 before it was ready so it basically had a shitload of, um, you know, uh, defective uh, units that had to be replaced, okay? Now, you'll hear people say that the Xbox 360 sold very well. You have to subtract 10 to 15 million off that number because a lot of them were simply um, replacements and people buying new ones because the old ones died. Okay? <laughs> um, so, Phil Spencer isn't the savior of, of the Xbox brand. In order for the Xbox brand to, to come back, Xbox is going to have to start making good games and drop the Kinect. If they don't do that, and not in that order, do the latter first. Drop the Kinect, start making good games. If they can do that, they can come back. If they can't, I think this might be the last console Xbox makes, at least in a format that we can recognize. Next topic, coming up next. Okay then, as the title says, this next one is, believe it or not, <laughs> these people had the audacity to say this. Now, this is just the general gamosphere. I'm hearing a few people bitching about um, the new Smash Brothers modes and all I have to say is this look um, this is Ninten this is Nintendo hate at its finest okay Nintendo has basically crafted a mode for people who are hardcore um, competitive in Smash Brothers or think they're hardcore competitive because I've seen I've seen professional people play uh, Smash Brothers and I've seen people who think they're professional play Smash Brothers, and the the skill levels are very different. Okay, they they're they're, they're very different. Okay, so um, 
what I mean to say is, is that uh, you people need to quit bitching. Quit bitching. I mean, nothing's good enough for you people. I mean, you have the premier, you have the premier, um, fighting game, casual, um, IP based fighting game, um, that anyone can pick up and play, anyone, basically anyone can pick up and play and have fun with, and you people are trying to turn it into like a Street Fighter 2, or a Street Fighter 4, or a Soul Calibur, or a Tek Tekken, or whatever people play in the field, whatever, I, I haven't, I haven't had, a, a, a played a competitive fighting game in years now, so, <laughs> I'm out of the loop a little bit. But, I mean, quit bitching and, and enjoy. It's gonna be a good game. Just quit bitching all the time, man. Just enjoy it, shit. Okay, then. Um, this next topic is going out to Sony. Um, I wasn't gonna say this, but it needs to be said. Sony has announced that they are making a, um... Ba uh, ultimate balance patch for Sony All Sony PlayStation All Stars or um, AKA Super Sony Smash Brothers, <laughs> the Duplo version, <laughs> the Duplex version. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that so uh, Sony All Stars is uh, the Duplex to Smash Brothers Oreo. You know how nothing tastes like an Oreo but an Oreo, and like anything that people try to substitute for an Oreo, you taste it, it's like, yeah, it looks like an Oreo, it's got a cream filling like an Oreo, and you take a bite and it's like, this ain't an Oreo. That's basically what Sony PlayStation All-Stars is. Looks kinda like Smash Brothers, plays kinda like Smash Brothers, but <laughs> once you really get into it, you're like, this ain't Smash Brothers. <laughs> And uh, consumers saw this and the game bombed, but that's another story for another day. Um, basically, they're 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 still there. This is the final patch for this game. This is the end all be all patch. So, um, for you people who have Sony PlayStation All Stars, <laughs> enjoy. I don't, I don't. I mean, like, here's the thing: you could spend six dollars and play the original Smash Brothers on the Wii Virtual Console. You could spend like 20 bucks and get the Smash Brothers Melee version. You could spend like 30 and get the Brawl on the Wii U. I mean, on the Wii. Why would you get this piece of shit? I don't. <laughs> it makes no sense to me. But we'll we'll lead to the next. Um, the next topic is going to be a doozy, so it's going to be number five. So let's get to it. Okay, now to uh, the number one stupid topic, and this hasn't just been floating around this week, but I finally, you know, got myself together, gathered my mind, girded my loins, um, I'm taking a three-day weekend, so, you know, I'm gonna get this out the way now. As the title says, <sighs> Really, Awada should be fired. Okay, then. Why am I making this? First of all, I'm making this because the people who keep on saying this, you people are dumb as shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're, you're so stupid. Um, and it's not, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Most of the people who are saying this fall into two camps, okay? You have people who genuinely feel that Iwata has made some dreadful missteps in that having to slash forecasts for games coming out for the Nintendo uh, Wii, uh, Wii U and you know he hasn't been doing his job and you know because of this you know someone else needs to take the helm of Nintendo okay then some of you say that's one camp the second camp are just people who are trolling and want to see a water fire okay because somehow in their mind you know that's that's gonna be a really that's gonna be such a good thing I'm gonna tell you why both of these camps are stupid or at least 
The people in them aren't stupid. The idea that Iwata should be fired is, and I'll tell you why. Three reasons. Number one, um, as far as CEOs of a company go, um, Nintendo isn't doing as well as um, it would like to be doing, but in terms of the grand scheme of things, Nintendo is still okay. They're doing okay. Really, they're doing okay, okay? Like, they aren't making as much money as they want to, okay? Like, they aren't making as much money off of the Wii U as they would like. A lot of this is because of that drought we had last year and the price cut, and a lot of it is because they had to, um, they have not yet gotten to the point where, um, you know, basic economics, they haven't gotten to the point where it's become so efficient to make the Wii U that it's like it's it's very cheap for them to make and they're just making nothing but a profit right now I think they might be breaking close to even okay um, they're making up with it the, they're making up on this by people buying their first party software and since Nintendo is a dynamo at selling their first party software generally speaking they're, they're, they're still making some profit okay um, <clears throat> but, um, so, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, Nintendo isn't doing that poorly. Now, let's look at some CEOs that, uh, <coughs> haven't been doing so well. You have, uh, the, so in the entire Sony executive board that has seen Sony lose billions of dollars over the last decade. Now, if there's some people that need to be fired, those motherfuckers need to be fired. <laughs> And when I say fired, I mean like, like uh, they they should commit, they should kneel down, commit seppuku, and be beheaded, and then while on a spaceship that's launched into the sun, so ultra fired. Not literally, not literally, but they should be fired. I mean, like all the executive board just fired, okay? But you know, <clears throat> you know, Nintendo lost a few million here and there big whoop. Sony? Billions! With a capital B. But, you know, Iwata should be fired. Second reason Iwata should, this idea that Iwata should be fired is stupid, okay? Um, even if Iwata was fired, what would happen, okay? First of all, Nintendo would lose a lot of stock because, believe it or not, Iwata, in terms of being a CEO, has had a pretty good run. Okay. He took over during the GameCube era, okay? He turned the GameCube around. Another struggling console, he turned that around. Nintendo made a profit. Believe it or not, Nintendo was more profitable on their GameCube that sold, like, I believe, 22 million during that generation than Sony's PS2, which sold, over its lifetime, 100, over 150 million. Tells you something, doesn't it? So, you know, but, you know, I digress. Um, then he brought up the Wii and the DS, two consoles that proceeded to kick everything's ass, okay? <laughs> then the 3DS, which struggled at first, but is now kicking everything's ass. The Wii U is struggling, but you know what? I don't think it's going to be struggling for much longer. I just, I feel it in my bones. I don't think it's going to be struggling for much longer. That's just me. You know, sue me if I'm wrong. Don't sue me, because this is just a prediction. Um, this is not a legally binding agreement, so you can't sue me. Haha. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, I mean, generally speaking, I mean, what's going to happen if you get rid of Iwata? The, the man who basically made Nintendo all of this money and had the vision to basically earn Nintendo more money during his tenure than uh, Yamauchi um, Hiroshi Yamauchi made, Hiroshi Yamauchi made during his entire tenure. Think about that, <laughs> okay? Iwata did that shit. So what happens? Um, what happens then? Um, they take a huge stock tumbling, um, someone else has to come in. Um, it would probably have to be an Iwata successor, so it's someone who he trained up which basically means it would have to be someone 
I mean, you'd basically be trading in one Iwata for another. Iwata is like a nicer version of Yamauchi. <laughs> basically, like, like Yamauchi put his foot up people's asses and Iwata is a lot nicer, but I think um, he still puts his foot up people's asses. It's just clad in a silk slipper. <laughs> it doesn't feel as bad as that Yamauchi boot <laughs> with spikes and cleats on the end of it. So, I mean, you know, what what happens then, okay? I mean, not, not that much is going to change because Japanese companies don't... The only time Japanese co companies really change is when they become like Capcom or Square Enix. Like, it takes major... Like, they have to be damn near bankruptcy, okay? Not even Sony has learned their lesson, okay? They're trying, but they won't. They won't do it. Which leads me to my third... Number three. Number three. <laughs> Number three. My third reason this is a very stupid idea. <sighs> okay. Let's, 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 okay. Let's say, okay. Like I said earlier, Awada should be fired because Nintendo isn't fulfilling your needs. That's not their job. I mean, let, let's, let's break it down, okay? If you own a Nintendo console, and I've owned all of them, okay? I got all of them underneath my crawl space. So one day I'll make a video showing them if I feel like it. If I can, if I feel like getting down in there and digging them out. But, okay, Nintendo, the original N Nintendo console, the SNES, the N64, the GameCube, the um, Wii, the Wii U. Every Nintendo console starts out slow, okay? It, it, it's always been that way. The N64 started out with Wave Race and Super Mario 64, and we didn't give a shit. We enjoyed our games. The um, the GameCube came out with Rogue Squadron and Rogue, Rogue Squadron 2 and um, Super Mario Sunshine, I believe. No, it was Luigi's Mansion. That was it. We weren't bitching, oh, I, I, I don't want to defend my system. We just played our damn games and enjoyed it, okay? The Super Nintendo started out with four games. Four fucking games in the U.S. They had more in Japan, but four games. Super Mario World, F-Zero, um, shit. Forgot, forgot the other two. But four, okay? Four games. Four of them, okay? And we weren't complaining, okay? We weren't, we were like, oh, it was a fun game. And we played it and we enjoyed it and we weren't bitching about it, okay? You people need to calm down. Calm the fuck down, okay? And play your games, okay? We got a virtual console full of great games. You can go back if you had a Wii and transferred your stuff over, I did. You can play all your Wii games in Wii mode. Calm down, okay? Calm the fuck down, okay? Okay, look, if you're a Nintendo owner, you know you're gonna get some high, you're gonna get the highest quality first party games in the video gaming industry, okay? Bar none, okay? Nintendo first party IPs shit all over other companies first party IPs, okay? Sony can't touch them, Microsoft can't touch them, I don't know who the hell Amazon's gonna come up with some shit. Their shit's not gonna touch them. Nintendo's first party IP games shit all over everyone else's first party IP games. But for getting those quality of games on your console, it's gonna take time. Okay? And to tell you the truth, I would rather have Nintendo continue to have those that those high quality games than just, you know, let some stuff just, you know have them churn out games as quickly as humanly possible that the quality goes down, okay? Because Nintendo games, you can come back to them 10, 15, 20 years. I, I recently played Super Mario World on the, on my, uh, Super Mario World on the Wii U Virtual Console. That game is, tw I, I, the first time I played that game, I was five years old, so 23 years ago. That game is still fun today. How many games on other consoles can you say are that are like that? Really? Like not even 23 years. I dare people to go back and play Halo. You, you'll be like, what the fuck is this shit? 
basically, okay? Go back and play, go back and play uh, the first God of War. Most games don't have that level of replayability or quality, okay? Don't get mad, that's just the way it is. That's just, that's just the way it is, son. That's just the way it is. But, in order to get that, we suffer for, we, we get lackadaisical third-party support, and it takes time to get the games out. But when they come out, they are mwah, sweet. So, that's what we're dealing with. So, the conclusion coming up next. Okay, here's our conclusion. As the title says, this is just a conclusion of what I just said before and of the whole video in general. Um, in regards to Awada being fired, God, Jesus. Please stop. Just stop. 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 Okay? Iwata is doing what he needs to do in order to grow the company for its future, okay? It's a very smart CEO. Iwata isn't thinking this year, even two years ahead. This man is thinking 10, 15, 20 years ahead, okay? He's thinking about what's going to keep Nintendo stable for the next 20, 30 years. Which tells you that he's playing a long game, not a short game, okay? You can say whatever you want to about the Sony executive board, but they're thinking year to year, <laughs> two years to two years. That's not how you think in business. I mean, I own a small business, but even I have a five-year, ten-year, fifteen-year plan. And successful businesses that have lasted a long time have a long-term plan, not some short-term shit, okay? Long-term is much... Long-term thinking is more difficult, but it pays off dividends. Dividends. Much better. <laughs> if you do it correctly. In regards to the other stupidity around the internet, um, I would advise people to think. Really think, okay? Play devil's advocate with yourself. Put yourself on both sides of the argument and try to throw away your jaded biases before you make a judgment, you know? For example, um, you know, if someone says, I thought PlayStation All-Stars was a good game, say, well, did you play Super Mario Super Smash Bros.? Um, did you play Super Smash Bros. Melee or Brawl? And half the time they'll say no, or they'll say they played it and they didn't really enjoy it. So, Smash Brothers is for everyone. Some people find the chaotic and nonsensical fighting system in, in PlayStation All-Stars is their cup of tea. So, you know, that's their thing. Me, personally, I think it's a piece of shit. But that's just me. That's just me. That's my own personal opinion. You do not have to agree with me on that one. But generally speaking, what I'm saying is, is that put your, try to walk, uh, follow the parable of uh, the Indian, the old Indian uh, adage of walk, you never know another man's troubles until you've walked a mile in their moccasins. You know, walk in another man's shoes, you begin to understand where they're coming from. So. That is our conclusion. You guys have a nice day and keep up the good work.